Right off the bat, we want to let people know clearly that uh, we're in your corner. We'll come to you. We'll talk at your table. We really want people to be able to feel comfortable grieving and celebrating the lives of their loved ones the way that suits them best. From beginning, middle and end, uh, the, the personal touch is, is crucial. We do full service for funerals and it's just not going to cost you as much. People often wonder, well, what happens to someone that dies without family and without money? Well, we, we have a procedure we deal with the government and law enforcement uh, to seek to, to bury that individual, to give them a, a, a dignified, humane last moment. And uh, that's what we're doing today. When there's no family as, as a real, uh, it's, it's not very common around here. So what happens is no one wants to be the authority that said, okay, let's cremate somebody and they have no body left and then a family appears. So that's where that's where law enforcement come involved and help us to, to determine is there family that we can determine in a reasonable way. They said no. So that the, the default is that a person must be buried, cannot be cremated because, uh, you know, it would be sad for a family member to find out months, weeks, days, years later and say, I want to go visit the grave or, or there needs to be an investigation and there's no body. So that's why, that's why the burial is happening. We figured it was our due diligence to put the word out. Uh, so we put a, a notice on our, our, our website and also in the newspaper that this individual has passed away and just letting people know that he's being buried today. And on the chance that someone would, would reach out, I got a phone call over the weekend with, with some folks that had a friendship with this individual. And they recognized the name and they said, my goodness, we wondered what happened to him. And they said, can we come? We said, of course you could. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you, you reached out and made that phone call. Cause yeah, it, uh, you know, some, sometimes it, there, there is no phone call and it's the person is just completely a mystery. He was in the newspaper business and he used to work for the Wallsburg Courier Press. Huh. And he quit that. <sighs> he was a smart man. Oh yeah, he's very smart. Mm -hmm. I met him probably about 28 years ago. Okay. And it was probably three or four years after that that he quit that. And then he went into business for himself. There's often a misconception. People think, well, if someone passes away, the, the funeral home just sort of jumps into, into action and, and X, Y, Z, and it happens. But every single death is, is, has its own complications. For example, this one has us engaging different uh, avenues. Otherwise, a person can't be, can't be buried, can't, can't move forward. But uh, say with a full traditional funeral, we would be, this would look a lot different. We'd be here in a hearse. There might be a pastor or a priest here. There might be a much larger gathering. There could be singing and praying, uh, following a, a service that we've just come, for, come from. So every funeral home is a bit different and the details are, are uh, uh, there's a long list of them. Uh, a dynamic at every cemetery is you're dealing with, with, with nature. And uh, it's not been very wet these days, but sometimes you'll hit a pocket of soil that's very, very loose, very, very sandy. And it just so happens that uh, this individual's grave that was provided for him uh, is very, very sandy. So what happens the, as the, the six foot grave that's being prepared, it starts to cave in. And uh, it makes it very difficult to, to be near safely. So what, that's why we have the, we, the vault was actually prepared away from the grave. Oh, okay, I thought you'd seen the... So normally, like, no, normally it's in the grave and then we lower into it and then all he does is lower the lid down onto it. So here he's gonna do that and then grab the lid, put the lid on top and then the, the workers come back and fill the grave. It's not in the back 40, it's not in the pauper's field. Uh, it won't be an unmarked grave either. We, we, will, we will have a, a, a small granite marker created with this individual's name on it. So this person that lived 81 years, um, there's, there's, a, there's a mark, there's a mark. He's, his body will be buried here forever. And uh, so it's, it's a very compassionate, humane way to, to approach these times. Maybe years ago, if you died broke, you were kind of thrown away or people had to, had to pass the hat type of thing. But uh, there's, there's built into every budget in most municipalities, there's funding to help extreme situations, which this is.